Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 293 of playing chess every day until 2000 Elo. We're sitting at 1869. Let's find an opponent. Okay, we find a 1950 Vardan. And okay, their profile looks pretty good. We have a Karo Khan. Looks like we might get a two knights. Okay, so they go d4, so I mean, takes, takes, and then we just try to transpose into a Tartakower. Hmm, some kind of gambit here. I don't really want to allow them to take, but I also don't want to take them. So obviously, if I take, they're going to develop really quick. We're going to have no development for the cost of a pawn, which I'm not a big fan of. I actually think e5 here. If I go e5 here, takes back, and then we take, should be able to win this pawn. Yeah, let's go e5. This way, if they take, then we can take here, or take one of the two. The computer probably says just accept the gambit and try to defend, but I don't know this gambit, and this person probably has studied a lot of the lines, so I don't think taking, accepting the gambit is probably not correct for me. But we're going to find out. We're going to learn something today. I also really like e5 because he can't push. Okay, so they just take. So we're going to trade queens. And he either has to not castle, which isn't the biggest deal since we just traded queens. But, yeah, or he has to undevelop his knight. And I still think letting him take here is probably the best. Or I could even go here because this just allows him to develop. The pawn here is not really doing him any favors. Could also go here to target this pawn, and if he were to take, be good. But then he has this, and then we have to isolate our pawn. So maybe we go here first. If I go here and he pushes, and we go back, we might go here. Let's play this move, and then get ready to go here. I don't think this is the game that he wanted to play. Yeah, so he does lash out. We're just going to slide back, but I guess that allows him to go here. Mm, yeah, that is actually kind of unfortunate. I could push the pawn, but he's going to go here. So I probably have to play this move, but then he can push. Not very comfortable. I could do this if en passant, then we're happy. Actually, here takes here, and I'm pretty happy. So let's play f5. If this, we're very happy. We just take. This pawn's isolated, but... And if he pushes, then we just have a protected pass pawn. And like I said, if en passant, we just develop with tempo. Or not tempo, but... We just well, actually it would be with tempo because we're attacking this. So we're just going to take. On the other hand, he does have a connected pass pawn as well. And now, like, this diagonal is very weak. Definitely an interesting Khan position, that's for sure. I'm noticing that knight, knight here to go here, pressures this pawn pretty well. I like that. Okay, he's just attacking. Attacking the bishop. Fair. So if I were to go back, he just pushes. I think this or this? tough choice tough choice could go here but then this is gonna have a hard time coming out i could also go here which isn't the worst thing in the world especially with this blocked i think i'm actually going to develop like this if he wants the bishop it's it's fine i don't really want to give the bishop but i don't really think allowing him to push this pawn's good he could go here and attack this threaten to take but then i can actually just move the bishop back he doesn't have this. And I'm kind of torn between going here or here because I kind of want to castle this way and activate my rook this way. But I guess now this check, he can't really block. So that could be good. But I feel like he's going to play this and try to castle. Mm, he goes for that. So he's threatening to take. So if I were to go here and he takes, I take, he takes... Check doesn't really do much. He just wins a pawn. Could just step back. Yeah, I don't want to give him the bishop and lose the pawn. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold on to the pawn, to be honest. This isn't looking so great. Maybe we go here and try to induce this. And my thought process behind that is trying to get a knight to this square. He goes there. What's the idea behind that? Is it uh, that he can block? Probably blocks with the knight now. I mean, this can be a weakness. Here, 
takes here. Here takes. Yeah, not loving it. Here to go here. Check here, then back. Okay, let's let's give this check. Let's try to induce this so that in the future I can try and get a knight to this square. That is the idea. I want him to create this this weakness, this hole. Will he do it? Probably not, but okay, he does. Knight there to apply more pressure. I think I actually just lose the pawn, don't I? Yeah, but I can castle. Now we hit this. I guess he can castle too. So I could go here. He just has to defend this though. Thanks. And then he's hitting this. Let's pin this. If he goes here, we'll probably just slide back. And then the goal is to go here. Just gets out of the way. So I could take, he goes here, then I could go here. And then if he takes ever, we might have possibilities of sacking. So let's actually take. And then let's come in with tempo. We also have checks here now. Here, if takes, then we go check here. No, that doesn't really work. I mean, I could also just slide up. Let's go here. I think he's going to play this. And then we have this move. Also, this might be an idea. He can now win the pawn. If he doesn't take this turn, then we can maybe push. Well, let's just attack this and finish our development. If he takes, I mean, he gets three connected pawns, but I'll get this and I'll protect it. Protect our other pawn. He does have this. Just take, doubles his pawns. If he goes here, we have this. Here, he's threatening to trap my, my bishop. <laughs> Uh, we missed that. Yeah. So we're actually just going to lose a piece. Yeah, there it is. If I go here, it takes here. I mean, just allowing him to take, I think, is probably best. Doubling his pawns, isolating this. He takes, we take. It's not good by any means, but we might have some possibilities here. Especially with the opening of this, this H file. Okay, let's go check. Let's get the rook active. Could go here. I mean, there's just nothing. Here takes here. I mean, that's kind of what I was going for. I could go here, but what's the point of that? Let's take the pawn. He's got a lot of weakness. All of his pawns suck, but we're down a piece. Okay, he's trying to... Wrap my my knight, it appears. So I kind of want to bring the king. But if I go here, does that give him time to go like this? Go here. I guess I could go here now and attack this. Or is it more important to go here? Or is it more important to to do this? Now that gives him this, these pieces, or these squares. I can't really allow him to push, can I? Let's bring the king. He just has this move. Yeah, I kind of missed that. Can I take? This is protected now. So the bishop cannot take it. Mm, takes there. This is a hit. Everything is hit. So I guess I could bring the king this way. Try to come up in here. Mm. Oh, I was thinking I could go here. Ah, uh, dang. That's not a move. Okay, surely we're getting close to a, to just losing outright somehow. We have the king kind of cut off, but the bishop can always just protect. This could be an idea as well. If he goes here, we would sack and then take. We might be able to hold that. No, we wouldn't. He's just going to have a rook. And we're probably just completely lost. I don't know where we went wrong here. Okay, I think I actually have this move. We're attacking this. If he moves the knight, now he can just go here. I was going to say we can pin, but then maybe we go here, attacking the knight, and then try to pin. 
So I could take, he takes, and I could take here. And we might be able to draw this. His king is so far away. Or I could outright pin, try to win the piece. So if I go here, how does he protect this? He has check. Then I go here. I think this is, is all right. Let's go here. He's going to go check. I go here. And I'm attacking this and this. The knight doesn't really have any squares to check. Really? Wow. So now we just go check. Probably take the pawn. So if I take the pawn, I mean, this has to move. I can always go here. Let's take the pawn. I think my opponent threw the advantage, like, by a lot. It's probably a draw, but his king is just not safe. I don't know if I can play for a win here. And I think that's something that I need to figure out in my head. Because if I'm not playing for a win, then I need to take the easiest draw possible. But if, I'm, if I have a win, potentially, then I need to see it. And the only reason why I think I might have a win is due to his king. So, I mean, this is attacked. He's threatening to go here. Here, he goes here. But then I have this. What if I go here now? It's the knight checks that I need to watch out for. So if I were to go here, I mean, I'd love to go here, but I can't. Here, check. Here, he has this check. What if I go here now? So then I'm when I go here, if he tries to go check, it's not possible. Uh, but knight here, check. We go up. Threatening mate. He has to see the check mate. So he probably has to move the rook somewhere. If he goes check, we go here. And then this is mate. He could also just go protect the back rank. But I think this still works. Check, we have check here. Maybe not. Yeah, I think he has to go back. Check here. And we could have a draw. No, he always has checks with this knight. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. He moves the king now. But here, if he goes here, this is just mate. No, it's not. He has this. But then I go check. So we just go up and he can't go there. So we just move the king up. And if he goes here, we go here. If he goes here, then we have check here takes and it might be a draw because well rook versus knight and a pawn mm, i think there's a defensive setup that he can get but maybe where his king is very act inactive we might win so king f1 is the way to to stop me from mating but he loses the exchange and then it's rook versus knight and pawn here i'm wondering if i have this no okay let's go check i think i might actually just have this move Saving the knight. Yeah, we don't have to go here. We just go check. And then this forces him to go here. Because this is pinned. And now we will win. And my opponent resigns. Dang. Let's look at that game. That was kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. Yeah, white was winning the whole game. Basically. I played with an 81.3. My opponent played with a 76. So let's let's take a look at this gambit. Uh, e5 is not right. Computer says just take. But I mean, like, don't tell me that this looks like something you want to go into as a human. Like, just come on. We trade. Bishop out's not the best move. Develop the knight, attack the pawn. But then what happens after he just protects it? <laughs> H5. Okay. Okay. Uh, he lashes out. We go back. We had to go this way and give the pawn back. Okay. Uh, we didn't do that. And then we play this, which is wrong. I guess we have to... Yeah, that makes sense. Because if he does that, then we, should, we can just go here. Mm, okay. Well, now we develop. This is not the right way. Develop with the pawn. It's hard, man. It's hard. We're just playing inaccurate move after inaccurate move. Check to induce that was fine. Going here was better to pressure the knight. And then castles is the best move. Castles. And then we pin. And taking's not right. So I should have developed the other knight. Look at my knights. <laughs> what ugly placement. And we jump in. Which just allows him to go there. And then... I mean, here was not good. We should have took the open file. We trade, and then he just... He trapped my he trapped my bishop. We played the best way. 
And yeah, this is all best moves. We activate our king, which is what won us the game in the end, really. Uh, we take, we trade some pawns. He goes there, comes up, and the king is walking forward, but it's safe. And then he takes, and now it's a draw. But we missed something. So we should have took, I'm assuming, is what the, the draw was. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I said this in the game too. Is this we we can probably stop these pawns just due to this inactive king. But we're only playing for a draw. Uh, we missed something. And then he blunders right away. He should have given this check. But I was gonna go here. Oh, but that gives him time to go here. But wait, wait, wait. Oh, and king. Oh, that's actually so good because if you take, he takes. You kind of like need to take, but no. And then he can just move this or go here. Yeah, because if if you go into this end game, you're just gonna lose. You can't stop both the pawns. So I, I can actually see that. That was the move that I missed here, here, and this. Anything else is not, it's just a draw, uh, but okay. He blunders, we take, and then we win a pawn. He goes back, and yeah, this is good. And he plays here, and he's mated king up, and we find the checkmate. Mate in two. Knight check, and then here. What a game. I had a performance level of 1950 versus 1900. And this game just goes to show that you should not resign if you're, like, you know, down a piece like this. Like, yes, it's totally lost, but there are chances. There are still our chances. Give your opponent chances to blunder. This is a 1950. These are the people that you say, oh, you're down a piece. You're, you're never going to beat them. Make them prove it. Okay? That's, that's the lesson today. That's the lesson. Don't resign if you have any kind of chances at all. And with that, thank you for watching the video. <laughs> if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.